Hi guys, today is Monday, October 8th. I got my second shot today and the doctor increased it. Um, I was getting 50 and he increased it 25 so I'm up to 75 now um, per week. And uh, I asked him when I could start doing my own shots and he said I could today but I uh, I wasn't I wasn't ready I go commando so I didn't have anything under my jeans so I says well you know let's wait so next week I'll be ready and uh, I says I want to do it with you guys there so I'm you know a little support while I'm doing it and uh, I had no uh, adverse reactions last week. Uh, felt great. Um, he asked if I'd had any hot flashes, and I says no. In fact, um, because I started menopause early, um, I'm basically over that, but I, uh, I still have a few simple, simple hot flashes, nothing major. Uh, but this week, nothing. So that was another thing that I'm not experiencing any, any symptoms of. So uh, anyway, so it's all good. Um, I wanted to talk about something that some of the other guys are talking about and I don't have a problem with. Uh, they feel they have to learn to stand up to pee. Uh, they have to wear a, um, a peacock so that they can stand up. Uh, but I've never had a problem finding a place to, with my gardening business, being out in neighborhoods and stuff. I, f I can find a bush <laughs> to get behind. Um, and in the bathrooms, um, I've learned that guys don't always stand up to pee. They, There's a lot of uh, men and families that they sit to pee, so it's not a big problem. If you go into a bathroom that it's just a, a one-person bathroom, no problem. Um, and if you go into a bathroom that has, uh, you know, a couple stalls or something, again, no problem. You just go into the stall no problem. Um, other guys pee sitting down, so it's not a big thing. You know, if they see you sitting and they hear you peeing, don't worry about it. Um, in, in terms of the, the gym and the locker rooms, I haven't used the locker rooms in many years because the people don't obey the signs or show any consideration about uh, not drying off when they come out of the pool or the shower. So the, the locker rooms wet the floor, the benches, everything. So I quit using them many years ago and I strictly change in the bathrooms. Right now I'm using the women's room and there again they've got two stalls and I just go into one of the stalls and I change and I come back out so no one ever sees me without my clothes on. And when I hit a point where I'm going to start transitioning enough that it's going to be noticeable maybe, I'm going to, before I start using the men's bathrooms, I'm going to use what they have the, um, their family changing rooms. And so I can go in there and change, and no one will question me on that either. Everybody knows me. And then eventually when I um, get fully along, probably after top surgery, then I'll start using the men's bathrooms. And um, all the guys know me. They're going to see me changing. And the conversation is either going to be started by me or someone else and I'm going to let them know uh, this is who I am um, 
<laughs> deal with it. Get over it. Uh, usually, women have a problem with trans women coming into a locker room or a gym, uh, bathroom because, oh, it's a man. Although, not really. Um, but on the other side uh, of the coin, um, I have accidentally started to walk into the men's locker room and, and turned, and the guy said, yeah, come on in. <laughs> so I don't think they're going to have a problem with me in the men's restroom. Uh, they're not going to see me and unless they're prancing around outside of the stall with nothing on. You know, no biggie. Um, and trust me, most of us have seen everything. I don't think they're going to have as much of a problem as I am, or as the women might. Who knows? Uh, anyway, um, that's where things are right now, and I just wanted to discuss the uh, the bathroom and the locker room stuff. Um, my husband, Bill, or as he's calling me now, we're calling each other our better half. Get away from the husband-wife thing. Learn to do that. And uh, he's, he asked me what my plans were. And I told him, and he says, well, he says, I, I figured you probably did have something lined up because you're real good about that researching and thinking things out. I says, yeah, I do. So anyway, shot two down, increase in the dosage, see the doctor again next Monday, week from now. And uh, I'm still lifting like crazy, just Visually, I'm seeing what I want to look like, but I've always done that in my sports and my athletics. So uh, I, I visualize where I want to go, and so I'm pushing out that extra rep, that extra set, uh, and just relishing in this whole thing. I'm still having such a great time with it. And uh, anyway, it's all good. So I'll talk to you guys next week.